Hello GMAs, Gopika Ma'am here. Are you stuck? Or as days are passing, you're feeling extreme stressed but not feel like studying. Very low motivation ma'am. Don't feel like studying ma'am. I don't even know if I can achieve this. Is need even my cup of tea? All these questions are there for all my students. And every single day I have to hear it from one or the other student asking me the same question. Ma'am, can I do it? I do not feel like studying. I do not have the motivation. But stress is at peak. I am nervous. Now what you do, do during this time? Every one of you, every one of you for that matter, finds motivation. So first ever thing that you have to do is stop finding motivation. You'll be like, ma'am, I need motivation to study and I'm studying because of the motivation. So it's like a loop. Students, motivation works for one or two times, not more than that. When it is a long journey for your entire year to prepare for one competitive exam in a complete concentration, motivation is not the key. Motivation might work. Yes, one time it might work. You would have heard a po podcast and you would be like, oh my God, yes, I'm going to do this. But no, that oh my God, I'm going to do this is only for a shorter period of time. And trust me, tell me in the comments if how many times motivation video has helped you for a year, for six months, for three months down the lane. It won't. So stop finding motivation instead. Do these techniques to improve yourself from procrastinating over and over again. And when you're completely low, like no fuel to study, this is going to help. The first thing is use a five minutes rule. Let's break the entire block of ice into small, small cubes. Like tell your brain that I'm only going to study for five minutes, no matter what. I am only going to study for five minutes. And also I want to tell all the students who gives a big restriction to yourself that I have, if I have a cup of coffee, then only I will study ma'am. If uh, you know, if the entire house is silent, then only I will study ma'am. If the TV is switched off, then I will study. If my phone is in silent or in, uh, you know, if my friend calls me, then only I will start studying. Do not keep such restrictions. Do not put yourself into a place where you need 100 things to be set right for you to start studying. Just start. Just sit for studying. Just sit and be like, okay, five minutes, I'm going to study. Pick a concept that is easy. Learn for five minutes. And when you learn for five minutes and when you tricked your brain, subconsciously your brain is like, okay, this fellow is only going to study for five minutes. I can do this. I don't feel like studying, but for five minutes, I can do this. And you trick your brain. And when you do that five minutes, your brain automatically will be like, oh my God, it was so easy to study. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes and one hour. This will actually work. And I want all of you to try it. It's not a joke, students. It actually works. This is proven to work. Just tell yourself five minutes and that's it. So this is going to work. Because your procrastination, you are not moving from your place. You have no motivation. Five minutes of work. That can be done. Next thing, make a to-do list. I do not want all of you to make a 360 pages of what you're going to do for next six months. Just make a to-do list what you're going to do for next three hours of your day. Especially for the droppers who are sitting at home and who are doing self-study. It's very difficult to get motivated. So just make a to-do list telling that, okay, I'm going to learn lack of run concept in next five minutes. I'm going to learn translation, replication and, you know, transcription in next 45 minutes. Just do that. Just do that and see how much difference. Every time you tick the to-do list, you automatically feel rewarded. You feel accomplished. You feel like, oh my God, this is so easy. So do that. Make a to-do list. And every day start off with a to-do list. This is going to work miraculous. Then the next thing that you can do is make, self, make yourself in such a place that I am going to reward myself. That is, if I sit for a two hours live class, Throughout the two hours live, I was writing down notes, studying in the class. After the two hours live, I'm going to give myself a 15 minutes break where I watch my favorite show or I will watch my favorite podcast or I will eat the chocolate that I was waiting for or I'll buy myself a favorite food or I'll play this game. Any, that, any sort of reward. Make sure that you do it and get the reward as well. Now, when you reward students, I hope all of you would have heard through this statement that once you taste success, you'll never feel like coming back to failure because success tastes so good, right? That means once you're at that place, you'll not feel like coming back. So once you reward yourself, your brain automatically feels accomplished and you, your mind also starts thinking that, okay, this is easy and I want to get the next reward. So make something, your reward should be something that is so interesting that you have been waiting to do. This is going to work. And the next thing is students, take an easy topic because see, you're in a position that you're stuck. You're very, you know, demotivated. No fuel to gear up. 
then pick an easy topic pick an easy chapter learn that easy chapter in maybe 45 minutes in one hour and then tell that okay this much only i can do for today i have done this and when you learn that easy chapter with full concentration for that 45 minutes in one hour automatically your routine changes you no more feel low you feel like yes i accomplished something i answered this question i'm able to understand everything everything is so smooth when automatically that smoothness comes you will feel like okay i should actually study more this is very interesting this is now you know addictive i have to study more and students motivation is not something that is going to take you for a long run but these techniques are going to take you for long run so the first ever step to get into this whole thing is to watch the video till the end next 7 minutes i want all of you to only listen to me like the video and let me know in the comments because first if you do this that means you have accomplished to finish this video and follow these steps let's say in 2 minutes you are like no i don't think it's that means you have failed you have miserably failed no techniques are going to work very openly i'm going to tell you students so till the end of the video i want all of you to listen to me and then try this technique whenever you're feeling very demotivated whenever you're feeling like i shouldn't study anything i want to give up on this try these techniques and come back to me and tell me but before that i want all of you to comment consistency over motivation by doctor and your name because every time you write down doctor just front of your name it actually registers in your mind in your memory you are already a doctor you keep repeating that word every time you type that word automatically you feel like yes there's something that is so precious that that's why i'm going through all these hurdles in my life so that is important and i want maximum comments from my students saying that consistency over motivation and let me tell you every day if you do this every day if you pick a easy topic you study something and you accomplish let me tell you more than a student who is watching motivational video and studying for two days with that motivation you are going to achieve more and it is guaranteed because motivation is not for a longer run but consistency is discipline is every day sit 5 minutes i will study it's okay i will do that 5 minutes and when you do that you automatically continue that routine and students come back here and i will be here and let me know that how you felt okay so consistency over motivation in the comments by your name write in front of that add a doctor okay so if i am writing the comment i would say consistency over motivation dr kopika just look at it how beautiful it sounds and i want to do it right so i hope this video for helpful for all of you thank you so much for joining and if you have stayed till the end of the video let me tell you you have already accomplished one task of the day to find this video and watch this video and finish till the end of the video and also if you have commented then you have accomplished your second task and students every day take one step closer to your goal so your goal is that doctor and for that every day you need to push yourself there are days out of 5 days hard working days there could be one day that you're not feeling motivated and this video is the right one for you so if this video has reached up to you and if you have finished this video till the end let me tell you two main accomplishment has happened first finding the video second watching the video and third commenting on the video so if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe and like this video and let me know in the comments if it was helpful see you all next time bye bye